<laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, the state recently passed a, a, a law, state law that uh, gives the uh, gives cities like the city of Kingston uh, the ability or uh, the permission to establish rent uh, uh, rent control laws um, uh, or rent stabilization laws. Um, I guess uh, we will. Um, we we see um, rents uh, increasing in the city at uh, larger uh, complexes recently. Some say, uh, you know, that's because uh, they want to beat this, uh, you know, beat this tenant um, 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 law when it goes into effect. Others just say they want to pay off their big debts that they are paying for these buildings. Anyway, I figured we get your positions on this uh, on this uh, tenant. Um, Stabilization law and and whether or not, if you were mayor, you would support uh, having this uh, having this pass the common council. Bad Vince. Rent control is absolutely not what is needed in Kingston to protect our citizens who cannot afford the rent. In fact, it will accelerate gentrification and displacement by forcing landlords to protect their investments preemptively, raising rents and and evicting tenants before. The ETPA, that's the acronym. Yeah. But I'm going to call it rent control. Yeah. Before rent control's effective date, which we are already beginning to see. The problem is that the current mayor has not introduced any new meaningful, affordable, or workplace housing in four years. As I see it, we have one main issue, and that is the lack of units that are priced so that one's rent is less than 30% of one's income. If we had these units, those whose rents are being raised to market levels in Dutch Village, as an example, would have alternatives. Rent control does not work because it actually creates more pressures for those that are supposed to help. Uh, over 80% of Kingston's housing stock was built before 70. Renters will be living with worn appliances, floors, and never see another paint job in their lifetimes if rent control is adopted. My solution, I have met in two weeks since the last debate, I met with representatives of larger rental complexes uh, controlling over 1,500 rental units in Kingston. There's only 1,800 that are affected by rent control. From local-based developers to those the mayor refers to as unscrupulous, all have agreed that if I am elected, they will limit rent increases to 3% for the next 36 months. So we don't need rent control. They've already agreed to 3%, and that's about where rent control would take it. Okay. Hey, but do you have concern, though, that uh, peak landlords making promises will be kept well, if I mean, I'm the, this would if, be a law. Well, uh, if I'm mayor and they don't keep their promise, then we'll deal with that. Okay. Okay. Um, but I have other solutions. So if I were mayor, Energy Square is supposed to be for affordable housing. I would go to Rupco and I would ask them to uh, give preference to 50% of their units for people that are affected by recent rent increases. I don't think there's more than 15 or 20. But so we've taken care of people that have had that $300 rent increase. Uh, when you combine that <clears throat> with my affordable plus housing initiative, which will create three to 500 units in pretty quick order, um, it's a win-win. So once again, I feel our mayor has demonstrated a lack of leadership and failure to comprehend the big picture. He's suddenly for rent stabilization, saying what a vocal minority is telling him to say, what not what is best for his constituents. All right, Steve. So, you know, uh, rent control is needed um, and, you know, we're, we, we, we needed it before, but until the state passed the legislation, we couldn't have it. Uh, and so now this is exactly why we need it, because we have large landlords, the ones that Mr. Rua has um, worked with, I guess. Um, I, I really wish that he could have had conversations not about limiting their rents to 3% in the future, but um, telling them to stop raising rents of people on fixed incomes to $350 more a month. That should have been the conversation. Um, but that aside, um, I do think that uh, rent control is needed. Uh, and we will, um, after doing this vacancy study, um, be able to give the Common Council the information that they, they need. Um, to help protect our tenants. This is focused on units, six units or more. Uh, these are all out of town landlords um, who own these large complexes. Uh, they have the ability under rent control to get anywhere from a 0% increase to a 3% increase. Um, and because of the work that we've done um, on rent control, we've also been able to look at other models, including austening. And when austening passed their rent control, um, we can follow suit. 
um, and also have a look back period, which means that uh, for those tenants who have seen these unscrupulous landlords raising rents $300 or more a month, um, we can go ahead and reduce those um, back to a certain period, possibly use six months before rent control went into place. And so um, that exists. And that's why we need laws because uh, building owners change and um, whether they um, you know, will tell you in a, in a conversation that they're going to not raise rents, um, we can see that that's happening right now. Um, and you know, we also have a track record of supporting affordable housing. I'm not sure um, about my opponents, but I do know that um, you know, we have tried to get as many done as possible, including Energy Square and Landmark Place. Um, but unfortunately, Landmark Place um, was really um, not wanted by many in the neighborhood, many of which are supporting um, my opponent. Um, Lace Mill. Yeah, Lace Mill happened just before I took office. Yeah, okay. But, another but you expect that this, uh, w w uh, if you get elected uh, again, uh, you get four more years, uh, you expect that this will become law? I do. This tenant thing? Yeah, I do. Okay. Ellen? Well, the $32,000 housing study is supposed to tell this, the administration whether or not we have a 5% or less uh, vacancy rate right. of the units that were built before 1974. I believe that that may not take place before the end of the year. I'm not 100% sure how long this study is supposed to uh, take place. Two months. Two months, Yeah. hopefully. So, yeah. They can coordinate with our building and safety department and uh, do their mailings and contact the landlords and hopefully they'll have uh, enough of the cooperation uh, to tell us whether or not we're at 5% or less, I, I'm so, not really hopeful that that's going to take place. Okay, so, but, but if you were mayor, at the, this, this, this current mayor is strongly supporting this Tenant uh, 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 Protection Act uh, and the Common Council making its making rules. If you were mayor at this time, I'm, would you do it? I'm, not, you? I'm not really sure whether that's going to be our answer. Our... Our problem right now is we we don't have enough units to sustain the individuals that are trying to find housing. And okay, so you yeah. would not support this yeah. if you were mayor right no, now, no. right? Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's go on. I think to a, to a, to another one. 